the intersection see if this is for for t's in this model we don't have we don't have this so let's say if we have we have a t like that let's say 200 but in our vertical axis then we might this is we might have to change this node this node was 50 and 55 65 must be 55 so you can see here that we have a t so we click on save and click on and reinforce let's say so this is our node 55 then say we are on another element here and then we want to analyze what is going on here what is the future of this t and this is 55 Then we click on this intersection shift. Where do you want to analyze this intersection of a T element? Then we might write down 55. And then as you can see here, this is an unreinforced connection. Here you can find like the all the stress in intensification factors, the internal, the inner and outside stress intensification factors. The header is our main pipe, which is 400 uh, millimeter of pipe, and the thickness, and also the branch, the outside diameter of the branch, which is the, the vertical element, is the same diameter. Uh, for example, if we want to change the, the diameter of this branch element, let's say 300, you can see that CISA takes for the next element the same diameter, but we don't want to do that. We just write down the gate 400 and we can see clearly here the T is write down 300. Then let's select 55 again. And you can see like the branch, the outside diameter of the branch has, has changed. So in this piping model, we have two bends. One bend on the node 30 and the other one on the node 40. So we can see here we have for both of them long radius so we can see here so if we use this pensive tool we are going to write down the node 30 and this, this window shows us all the different uh, parameters or the features of this bend element this must be the same feature that we are going to have for the node 40 so as you can see these are the same values and the bend radius like 600 millimeter is the corresponding radius for a lone radius bend element so for example if we change this long radius element into uh, let's say a 3d radius element you can see that the, the bend radius has increased and of course, if we click on bend icon again on node 40, we've got uh, a bend radius of 1200 millimeter. And also the corresponding matching pipe, outside diameter, and the pipe thickness. So we click on cancel. So we just write down again long, and you can see that the radius has changed has decreased and the tool redo tool is very easy to use um, and the first element icon um, i will be here and then if i if i select on first icon then i will be standing here the same happen if i click on the last element previous element also the icon next element 